this is such a good comment and I'm actually very grateful that you put it on my page because I went around and I asked my daughter and my sister and they both told me that they don't know how to use a measuring tape for sewing. So I decided to do this quick little video and show you and others that may have the same question. So usually a measuring tape is about 60 inches long. It starts here and then you have from zero to one and then from one to two, two to three, four, etc. And then when you end here at 59, it's actually from here to here is 60. So it's 60 inches long. A lot of the measuring tapes come in inches like this one and some others come with like centimeters in the back this one comes with inches and centimeters in the back if you want instructions on how to read centimeters i can do that on another video today i'm going to go i'm going to focus on the uh, inches so from one number to the next is fractions all of these little lines mean a different fraction so from the longer one here in the middle is half an inch and then the little ones, this is a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch. So say I'm going to measure here my wrist and I wrapped it around my wrist and wherever the zero lands, that is the measurement. So in this case, it landed right on this long solid line. So that's eight inches, right? This is an example. If the beginning of my tape falls on like say the eight in this uh, middle line that's an eight and a half if it landed here that's an eight and three quarters eight and a quarter now the rest of the little lines are other fractions like sixteenth of an inch and eighths of an inch i originally learned measuring tapes using centimeters so when I was learning the fractions here for inches, my husband made me this cheat sheet that has all the different measurements for each little line, and then I converted them into decimals. So it really helped me. For sewing, you're mainly going to focus on whole inches, quarters, half, three quarters, and the eighths, the three eighths, five eighths and seven eighths. If you have more questions or you want a copy of this cheat sheet, let me know in the comments and I can uh, make one for you guys.